it's a real privilege, Zoe, to, to be looking after that horse. Um, we've had Dane Dream since she retired to stud as a, as a maiden, and uh, she's had two Frankels before now, and this is her third foal, the, the, the Dubawi, and he's just a belting colt, he's a lovely colt, and um, to be honest with you, we never had any illusions that we were going to be offering him for sale. Uh, I imagine that he would race either in Europe or Japan for Mr. Yoshida mm. and Shaddai, but um, Mr. Yoshida's a great owner breeder, but he's also a very commercial man, and he decided he'd like to, to see him go through the ring, so that's what we're going to do, and it's a yeah, great, great privilege for us to do it. And obviously, Dane Dream was such a fantastic mare herself. To have such a top-class performer as a mare on the page, do you think that gives him a bit of extra pizzazz going into the sale? Yeah, I mean, absolutely, undoubtedly. She was, she was, oh, look, we've been lucky, haven't we, over the last few years, or last 10, 20 years, to see some very special fillies. And I think Dane Dream is very much on, on that list. You know, she was spectacular, although slightly sickens me when she, she did Nathaniel on the nod in the King George, but she won the Ark, you know, she won a couple of group ones in Germany. She was top class filly. So, yeah, those fillies have that X factor, don't they? And when you get a, a Dubawi cult like him, who you've seen earlier, you know, such a good physically well-proportioned horse, it's, yeah, it's very exciting. Uh, he's got the most amazing temperament. I, I mean, his, his nickname on the stud is Kevin, and uh, I don't know why they called him Kevin, but he's been called Kevin since he was a foal, and I'd see the lads with him in the in the paddocks when he was a weanling, and he'd be lying down. You'd go and lie down with him, and he'd just take it all, and he's a dude, really. So he's he's he's, he's very we're very fond of him here, um, you know, just because he's just such a nice horse to look after and do anything with. And you're just hopeful that all goes well on the day. Well, you never know. I mean, he looks great. He's got a good page, and obviously we hope that people like him. But you could go up to the sale, and they'll they suddenly decide they really hate it up there, and they don't show well, and what have you. But look, he's very professional, very professional that horse, and he's done nothing wrong in the whatever 18, 19, 20 months he's been with us. So, so fingers crossed, he continues to behave himself for another couple of weeks.